Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you Red Dead Redemption 2 on my Steam Deck Steam OS with mods and specifically I'm going to show you YM's DLC mod. Okay, this mod has been requested a lot of times. You go over to my YouTube comment section and let's just search YM. Yeah, so it's been requested three days ago. Jacob Ben, shout out to you. Exorcist Prime, okay, two months ago. Uh, Vinto Sav, three months ago. Your local Sugar Daddy, three months ago. Um, Harry Ricketts. Okay, shout out to you guys. Thank you for requesting. I do read my comments. If you have any like requests, please let me know. I'll try my best. Obviously, I can't cover everything. Okay, um, and then I went over to Nexus Mods, Red Dead Redemption 2. And if you just go over to Mods, most endorsed it's actually ranked number two so yeah very popular mod i'm not sure why i never checked it out before but yeah very popular uh it's got over 880,000 downloads and it's got almost 15,000 likes okay so basically it's a cosmetic mod uh i, I checked it out it has like over 2,500 new items so it includes the wardrobe you know your your, your clothing uh hairdos beards saddles uh, your gun stuff, you know, your uh, carvings, grips, and stuff like that. And it's also got an eye patch included. I'm not sure how you get the eye patch. I haven't really tested that out yet. Okay, but um, this mod requires LML, so Lenny's mod loader. I've actually got that installed, and I've got a video showing you how to do that. Okay, so yeah, very, very excellent. Okay, and let's go over to my Steam Deck. Okay, so I've already got my Steam Deck loaded up. I've even got the game loaded up because this game takes a long time to load with the with the uh, Rockstar uh, loader. That sucks. Okay. Um, and I've got Lenny's mod loader installed. So if I press start, you can see the text is actually different. That that shows that uh, Lenny's mod loader is installed because I've installed this example mod just to make sure Lenny's mod loader is installed. And I've also got the YM's DLC installed. And how I know that is because if I go to the Barbara, go to the Barbara, uh, cut hair, you can see I've got different hairstyles that I could see here. YM's hairdos. Okay, so I've got different hairstyles that I could try out. But actually 86 of them. That, that, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of new stuff. And obviously, I can't show you everything. Uh, you have to go to different places, like the trappers. Um, I think there's a stable nearby. Maybe I can show you the stable. You can get different saddles. Okay, I can't really run in here. And then I'll show you how to install it. Okay, so the, yeah, the stable's right here. My horse. Oh, my horse is at the back. Just go into the stable first. I can. Yes, I can. I just walk in. Oh, my horse is there, following along. Okay, so manage own horses, Arabian equipment, saddles. Yeah, at the bottom you can see YM saddles. So you've got new saddles. This one you can see there's like there's engraving on it. Like there's AM on the saddle. Alpha Morgan. Yeah, so pretty cool. New stuff. So basically, new items for you. Um, anything others stuff? Little bags. That's the same one I use too. Yeah, I think it's mainly saddles. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. And I've also got Rampage Trainer installed. Okay, so you press the R B button and A. You can see I can. Turn on the uh, Rampage Trainer on my Steam Deck for this game as well. So that's that's very useful. If you've like already completed the game, you don't want to grind 100% of it. You can spawn the legendary animals and stuff like that. Um, can't remember what, how to do that. I've done it in the past. Spawner. Objects. Objects. Heads. Oh yeah, animals. Yeah, so you can spawn legendary animals, and then like then you can you don't have to hunt them. All right. So yeah, let's go back to Steam Deck's 
desktop mode and I'll show you how to install this. See you back in desktop mode. Let me interrupt for a minute. I think this actually might save you some money. If you're interested in this game that we're talking about, Red Dead Redemption 2, and you've never played it, never owned it, you really should. It's actually my favorite game of all time up until now. So it's 2024, almost 2025. It's still the top game. Uh, I think the second is probably Monster Hunter World or Breath of the Wild. These three, these are the top three games of all time for me. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is really, really high up. It's actually the most favorite. Uh, I've spent a lot of hours playing this game and it's on this website called Instant Gaming. If you're not familiar with them, they're the sponsor of today's video. I'm the official partner, okay? Make sure you check them out using my link below. Okay, it's on their website currently, 79% off. Get the Ultimate Edition, it's only 19 pounds. Really, really worth the price, okay? Uh, after you finish the uh, single player mode, go to Red Dead Online, that's also very fun. I've sunk many, many hours on this game, okay? So yeah, thank you Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video. The first thing you want to do is download the required files. I've already got them downloaded, but I'll leave the links in the description below so you can go and download them directly. Um, I've already got them downloaded. I'll go through them. The first one you want is the LML, Lenny's Mod Loader. I'm using beta 11 as of recording. It's the latest one as of recording. Depending on when you're watching it, you might have a like, more updated version. Um, I've also got LML example mods. This is not required, but I like to use this because once I've installed Lenny's mod loader, I like to install the example mod because uh, it changes the font of the game. So when I load up the game, I know that it's working properly uh, before I do anything else. So yeah, I, I like to use this. Um, and then I've got the Rampage Trainer. Uh, and the ASI loader uh, that's uh, required for Rampage and also script hook. Okay, and then YM's DLC, that's the mod that I've been showing you, uh, you know, with the new hairstyles, uh, wardrobe, uh, saddles, stuff like that. Um, and it's a big file, 2.9 gigabytes. So make sure you download all these. Links are in the description. And then you would want to locate your game folder. Okay, so if you've got it on Steam, it's quite easy. Open up your Steam. Select the game, go to manage, and then browse local files. And it'll take you there. It should normally be in your Steam apps, common directory. Okay. You'll need to locate your game folder. Okay. Now let's start installing the mod. First one we want to do is the LML, Lenny's mod loader. So open up the zip file, the beta 11. Okay. And inside you've got like lots of different folders. Okay, so you want to go to the mod loader folder and all the stuff inside, the folders and files, just select them and drag them over to the root of your Red Dead Redemption 2 folder. Okay, so just drag it over. I've already got it, so I'm gonna just go overwrite. Okay, so I've overrided that and that's done. Double check, make sure everything's done. Yep, that's done. And then there's a mod manager folder. Okay, this you can put anywhere you want. I put it into a like RDL2 mods directory. So just drag over the mod manager, the whole folder. Okay, I've already got it here. So I'm just gonna override again. So it's right here, right here. Okay, and then here's a good time to also install the ASI loader. Okay, it's a version.dll. So just drag this over to your to your Red Dead Redemption 2 directory. Okay, and then I've also got script hooked. Okay, script hooked inside this zip file, there's a bin folder, and we only need script hooked and D input 8. Okay, you don't really need the native trainer because we're gonna be using Rampage trainer. I think that's a better trainer. Okay, so make sure you drag the input 8.dll and script hooked rdr2.dll over to the Red Dead Redemption 2 root folder. Okay, as well. Good. And then also Rampage. Okay, Rampage. And what you need is you need the Rampage files and Rampage.asi. So Rampage files is a directory and then rampage.asi, also drag it to the root of your game. Over right, so yeah, just drag them all over. Okay, and then for 
LML example mods. It's uh, just extracted. I know what I do is I extract it and then auto detect subfolder. It's right here. So it creates a subfolder, has everything here. And then also for YM's DLC, also do the same. So right click it, extract, extract here, auto detect subfolder. So I've got a folder here. Okay. What you do. And then the mod manager directory that we just, we also, we dragged from LML beta 11. Go inside it. Inside there, there's a file called modmanagerui.exe. Right click on it, add to Steam. Okay, then go over to your Steam library and then it should be on your left hand side. You should have the modmanager.ui.exe. Go to manage properties, change the compatibility to Proton Experimental and run it. And run it. Okay, so here, here it is. Welcome to Lenny's Mod Loader Beta. And then go over here to this, like, looks like a download button on the left-hand side. And here, click on the plus icon, add downloaded file. And then you have to locate your, the mods that you, like, unzipped. So mine's in my downloads directory, RDR2 mods. And then I've got these two folders that I've extracted. So... It's in, on my internal SSD, so I know it's the slash button, then home, deck, downloads, and then RT, RDR2, RDR2 mods. Okay, and then first one, LML example mods. Just select that folder, click open, and then it's going to, I've already got it, so that's why it's going to ask me to overwrite, yes. And then here it says it's installed. Okay, and then I'm going to add the other one. So I go to the slash again, home, deck, downloads, RDR2 mods, and then YM's DLC. Select the folder, click open. Also got it, but I'm just going to override it. I'm going to show you guys how it's done. This one takes a little bit longer because it's 2.9 gigabytes, if you remember. It's adding. Adding it. So if you like the video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so installed. So once it's installed, you can basically just close out of this. Okay, and if you don't have any other mods, you can actually remove it. Like It, it doesn't need to be here. But uh, yeah, I could, I'll just leave it. Uh, and then let's run the game. Oh, oops. Sorry, one more thing. Go to your game, Red Dead Redemption 2. Go into properties and make sure you add... Wine DLL overrides. I'll copy this in the in the description. You only need D input eight. I figured you don't really need to type the script hook uh, RDR two. You don't need the version DLL. You only need D input eight. Okay, that just works. So I'll leave this in the description. You can also copy and paste this because this triggers the mods. That's the ASI loader actually. Okay, and let's run the game. So it's going to take a while. Maybe I'll fast forward this part because, uh, you know, the, the Rockstar login and everything. Okay, so yeah, that login for Rockstar is so annoying. That's why I don't like to play the official version, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But it's the paid version is the worst version. Like that Rockstar launcher really needs to go away. Okay, so yeah, on, on desktop mode, it doesn't go full screen. It's kind of weird. Uh, you can force it, but yeah. Uh, if you play in gaming mode, that's fine. So let's load story mode. Yeah, one more thing. These mods don't work for Red Dead Online. Okay, so don't try it. You might get banned. I, I've never tried it, but uh, I know it doesn't work. It says it, it kicks you out. Um, yeah, so just don't use mods 
uh, for Red Dead Online. I've got a lot of gold bars on my Red Dead Online account. I don't want to get banned. I've actually spent a lot of time playing this game back in the day. Really good game. So I'm just going to test out, make sure everything's working because I replaced the files um, and also show to you guys that it's working. Okay, yeah, you can see that the font is different. Yeah, so I know it's working. Working, and let's go to the table or the barber shop. Be the barber shop. If I can find it. Barber shop. Doctor. Yeah. Uh, that hair. Make sure I still got the YM's. Yeah, here. YM's hairdos. All right. That's great. So that's how you do it, guys. Let me know in the comment section if you have any issues. I don't think you should have any issues if you followed along. Uh, but I'll try my best to help out and, you know, leave uh, nice comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.